Well, now we know for a fact that Bimbo seems to be a naughty little pet. You know, it's really tough to take care of all of these pets when they are jumping around and they like just rush to the roads and act all naughty. So you guys better be careful and make sure that you take care of your pets and don't leave them all alone on these really, really, you know, trafficy roads. Let's see what happens in the second chapter. It's called A Playmate for Bimbo. Hmm, sounds exciting, doesn't it? Bimbo wanted somebody to play with. Bobs didn't always want to play. Cozy didn't mind sometimes. But if Bimbo was rough, she smacked him hard with her paw and he didn't like that. Jillian and Imogen went to school. So there wasn't really anyone for him to play with. I wish I had someone to play with, he kept sighing. I do wish I had somebody silly like myself who will play, chase my tail and hide under the bed and skip around and pounce at your feet. Those are the games I love, but nobody will play them with me. Yeah, it kind of gets a little sad when you have nobody to play with. And then one day, a playmate came for Bimbo. She came in a big basket, much bigger than the one Bimbo had come in. She arrived at the station in this basket and she was fetched in the car. The basket was put down in the nursery and the two children looked at it excitedly. Somebody nice is in here, said mummy, and she undid the strap. Who? asked Jillian. Do tell us, is it somebody for us? Yes, for you, said mummy. Somebody to live in the nursery and belong to you. It's a little puppy called Topsy. Up went the lid, but nobody jumped out. The children and mummy looked inside. There, on some straw, lay a small white fox terrier dog with a pretty black head and black tail. She looked up at the three people with soft brown eyes. She was frightened. Hello, Topsy, said Jillian in a gentle voice. Don't be frightened. You've come to a good home and we will love you and be kind to you. Jump out and let us have a look at you. Topsy stood up. She was a dear little puppy, about five months old. She wagged her tail just a little. It was a signal to say that she wanted to be friends. You poor little frightened thing, said Imogen. I expect you can't understand being sent away from your mother and from your home. This must seem very strange to you. Never mind, you will soon know us and get used to us. We will love you very much and you will love us too. Jillian lifted the puppy out of the big basket. Imogen put down a plate of biscuits and milk. The puppy smelt them and ran to the plate. So she was eating greedily. Then she went to Jillian and tried to jump onto her lap. She let her cuddle there and licked her hands. Oh, she's getting all friendly now. Oh, let me have a turn at having Topsy on my knee too, said Imogen, who loved cuddling toys and animals. So Topsy had a turn at cuddling on Imogen's knee and she soon began to think that she had come to a very nice home. And then Bimbo came running into the nursery to see what all the fuss was about. He stopped when he saw Topsy. What was this? Was it Bob's gone a bit smaller? Then he smelt a different smell. Mm, not Bob's smell. It must be a new dog, a small one. Topsy jumped down and sniffed at Bimbo's nose. Bimbo hissed a little, but he wasn't quite certain if this was the kind of dog who might suddenly chase him. Remember, Bimbo was chased away by a dog when he went out for a walk? Mm, now Bimbo's a little scared, you know. Topsy wagged the tip of her tail very slightly. Bob's had already told Bimbo 
that a dog's tail was used as a signal for friendship. Ah, that's what it is. If a dog wants to be friendly, he wags his tail. So Bimbo stopped hissing when he saw and sniffed around Topsy's mouth, smelling the biscuit and milk she'd eaten. Topsy wagged her tail in delight. To and fro it went, to and fro, as if it was on a spring. Then she gave a little yap and ran around Bimbo. Play with me. I'm sure you're not a grown-up cat. I'm not a grown-up dog either. I'm a puppy dog. Are you a puppy cat? No, I'm a kitten cat, said Bimbo. And he crouched down behind the chair leg, ready to jump out at Topsy. Catch me if you can. It must be so much fun to have a cat and a dog in the house playing all day long. So you do know that a young one of a dog is called a puppy and the young one of a cat is called a kitten. And then began such a chase round the nursery, in and out of the chairs, round the piano, over the doll's house and under the table. Oh look, they have made friends quickly, cried Jillian. Aren't they funny? Bimbo squeezed inside the toy cupboard and Topsy couldn't imagine where he had gone. Then she smelled the kitten in the cupboard and got inside too. What a scramble round there was. Out flew the small teddy bear, plop. Out flew the clockwork mouse and his key dropped out, ping. Out came half a dozen wooden skittles, clitter, clatter, clitter, clatter. Hee hee hee, this won't do, said Jillian. Come out, you scamps. We don't want the whole of the toy cupboard turned out. It's not spring cleaning time yet. The two animals jumped out. Topsy shook herself and sat down panting with a tongue hanging out nice and pink. Bimbo sat down beside her and began to wash himself all over. Lick, lick, lick. So that's how cats keep themselves clean and tidy. You don't have to bathe them. They can clean themselves up. What are you licking yourself for? asked Topsy. Do you taste sweet? Ha ha, funny joke, said Bimbo and went on cleaning himself. Topsy, I like you. I'm sure you've been brought here to play with me and have fun. Let's be good friends, shall we? Woof, woof, of course we will, said Topsy and wagged her tail so hard that it looked like two or three tails wagging at once. Wow, this is getting exciting. I want to know what Topsy and Bimbo are going to be up to. So let's find out soon.